You may have wondered, what is a clinical trial? Are there options to participate for dogs, cats, and other veterinary species? At UC Davis, advancing science in veterinary medicine is such an important aspect of the school that the Veterinary Center for Clinical Trials was established nearly a decade ago. Since its inception, veterinary scientists have developed and evaluated hundreds of ideas such as new diagnostics or inventions with the potential to benefit future pets. These clinical trials allow highly trained veterinarians to identify which new approaches may hold promise and possibly change our current standards. It is important to us to understand and learn as much as possible from each participant. Um, one of the trials here we have is called the VAX trial and the goal of that is actually to try and make a vaccine that we can use in the primary care setting to give pet vaccines to try and prevent cancer in the future. So Dottie's here today starting a potential vaccine for cancer. We were excited that she was allowed into the trial because we have had dogs in the past that have had cancer. It meant a lot to us to participate and hopefully help science move forward. She's helping science, so we're happy to be here. Participation in a clinical trial is completely voluntary. Prior to enrollment, one of the clinicians or staff will discuss all options to ensure pet owners can make an informed decision. This includes learning what each visit entails and understanding the pros and cons of a particular clinical trial. I decided to enroll Teddy in a clinical diabetes trial for a new insulin. I was thrilled to realize that it would, could change from his shots from 14 a week to down to one shot a week. Doctors were there every step of the way with us to make sure that his blood sugar was at his normal level. Teddy is one of hundreds of pets who participate in clinical trials every year at UC Davis. The center's goal is for the clinical trials to improve the quality of life for pets by studying cutting edge opportunities that would otherwise be unavailable. So, what exactly does participation in a clinical trial look like? Well, some trials are short, lasting only a week, while others may last several months. Some may be as simple as taking a pill every day, while others may involve groundbreaking new diagnostic or a new surgical technique. Oftentimes we can, can see the benefits of clinical trials right away in our patients, but sometimes we really see that kind of in the future. And so the hope is that all these trials can push forward veterinary medicine. Successful outcomes from veterinary clinical trials could also lead to comparable human clinical trials. If the clinical trial results are promising, your pet's participation could benefit the health care of other animals in the future. Many of the naturally occurring diseases that we see in dogs and cats can manifest similarly as they do in people, such as diabetes or cancer. And some of the treatments that we are working on in animals can hopefully one day be applied to human medicine also. It's exciting knowing that Teddy helped bring about a new medicine that will help thousands of dogs. Following successful results of the insulin clinical trial, the manufacturer of the drug given to Teddy recently signed an agreement with a pharmaceutical company to commercialize the new form of insulin. While this will not immediately help Teddy, it will greatly change the lives of many dogs in the near future. Whatever the level of clinical trial, the goal is the same, to bring about new treatments, new medicines, and new procedures so that we can help our pets live their best lives.